a beautiful island with uh, great mountains, great nature, great food, but it's all about the people. So people are very tuanjie. People really care about each other. The community values are very strong. They will go out of way with no skin off their back to do something good. It's not you scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's I'm going to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Coming from Taiwan and being really deep in the Web3 ecosystem, these are the two things that I care the most about. So BZD kind of combines these two things that I'm really passionate about into one mission that a lot of people can get behind. I would like to say that probably Jackie, one of the founders of BZD, kind of showed me the whole entire project saying, oh, it won't take so much time, it's going to be so much fun. He was wrong about the first one, definitely takes time, but he's definitely right about the second one. It is amazing. It makes me think of my parents. They had both met in New York, and the way they kept in touch with each other was by having a lunch club with other fellow Taiwanese people. So the mission of BZD, which is to be a welcoming environment to bring Taiwanese people or people interested in Taiwan together to learn more about Web3. So I think that me joining Buzidao is kind of trying to find my lunch club. Taiwanese people have historically been at the forefront of technological changes. People are always very excited, very open, and thinking about new ways to adopt technology and how it can help benefit society. Working with the government already, I think there's a lot of potential of Web3 bringing Taiwan to the international stage. Whether it is their resources or their talent, I think there's so much potential that Web3 creators and founders can really contribute to the Web3 space. Sometimes being in the U.S., people are siloed away from the rest of the world. And Taiwan has so much to offer. And Taiwan is just an amazing place. I hope the rest of the world uh, can see that. And this is going to be our, our first effort to do so. I think BZD chose Bridge as the theme for this year's Taipei Blockchain Week because Bridge has kind of two meanings as I understand it. One is a physical bridge connecting two different locations that would otherwise be unreachable. Having that be this concept that we orient the entire conference around really allows us to kind of see where we can grow the community to. Obviously bridges are one of the ways that different blockchains can interact with each other. So there's kind of that underlying technological reference which I think is pretty clever. We wanted the conference to be welcoming for those who are experienced in Web3, but also newbies who really want to know the space. With the Developer Bootcamp, it's really cool because we chose to be multi-chain, which means that we can give the attendees really a great overall landscape of Web3, so they can really figure out where they really want to go into the industry. So the first three days is generalist conferencing for those who want to learn about Web3, and it ends with the last three days being a developer's bootcamp to incubate the next generation of founders, builders, and creators. We will gather top speakers coming to Taiwan to share about their knowledge about Web3, and then we're also going to have a lot of awesome party. Community is what keeps us in the space, it's what keeps people together, it's what keeps the whole system working. If we're able to build one new friendship or one new connection that allows uh, a Taiwanese person to launch a project, to invest in a new company, to meet their co-founder, I think Taipei Blockchain Week would have been a success. It's great to be with other Taiwanese people that care so much about Taiwan and so much about Web3. And those are two things that are very uh, near and dear to me. And I'm glad to be surrounded by people that uh, feel the same. It's going to be an amazing time and you're going to be sad uh, if you miss out. You better want to book your ticket fast because this is the first Web3 conference after pandemic and after Taiwan just opened up the borders. So I have no doubt the tickets will be sold off very soon and then you want to get one. I think Taiwan has a lot of international events. I hope you can use this opportunity to get more information, different resources, and different cultures. And welcome to the people who like Web3 and like Taiwan. See you in Taiwan.